Hello, and welcome to DTN3 for Thursday, April 19th. I'm Jared Lucero. And I'm Julie Rivera. Thank you for joining us. We have developing news on a story we brought to you last week. The Fullerton Union High School administrator, who disqualified a gay student from the Mr. Fullerton pageant, returned to his job yesterday. Assistant Principal Joe Abel was temporarily removed from his post pending an investigation by the school district. District Superintendent George Geo Karras says that Abel will serve out the remainder of the school year at Fullerton Union before being transferred to another district school as a classroom teacher. The student at the center of the controversy, Kieran Gertz, and his grandmother met with the superintendent on Monday. He would not comment on what they discussed. The first ever 96-hour Asian American short film contest officially begins today in the Asian American Pacific Islander Resource Center located in University Hall 211B. It will start at noon. Contestants will have 96 hours to create and fully edit a short film. Students are to write, film, edit, and submit a 3-10 to 10 minute movie. The movie must be centered around a given theme, which is to focus on vampires, werewolves, or zombies. The contestants must also infuse an aspect of Asian American community or culture. On April 27th, the top 10 films will be announced. And on May 1st, they will be showcased in the Kinesiology and Health Science Building in room 199, where the winner will be announced. Ready to join the fight against cancer? CSUF's Relay for Life will take place tomorrow at the CSUF ECS Lawn at 5 p.m. The event is a 24-hour event. Teams will work to raise money for the American Cancer Society. They will be camping out overnight and will have a member walk a lap throughout the day and into the night because cancer never sleeps. There will also be food, games, and activities which are also part of the fundraising. For more information on CSUF's Relay for Life, visit www.relayforlife.com. Dot org slash Cal State Fullerton CA. Don't forget to head over to the Titan Student Union Info and Service Desk to grab your spring concert ticket. This year, up and coming country star Hunter Hayes will be opening the show for headliner Mike Poisner. Tickets are fr free for CSUF students and $10 for guests. All you have to do is stop by the desk and show a valid Cal State Fullerton Titan card. It is first come, first serve, so don't miss your chance to attend this free concert put on by ASI Productions. This year's spring concert is Friday, May 4th. For more information, visit www.asi.fullerton.edu. Now, on to sports. The baseball team will have a set of home games at Goodwin Field this weekend. The Titans will play the Mustangs from Cal Poly Pomona. The Titans look to improve on their 23rd and 12th record. The team is currently ranked 18 in the country and look to rise in the polls. The softball team is on the road this weekend. The team heads to UC Riverside, home of the Highlanders. The team hopes to get solid wins against them after a tough loss to Pacific. The track and field team is also in action. The teams will be in Los Angeles today for the Cal State LA Twilight Open and Mount Sac for relays. Good luck, Titans. Well, I can't wait to go, go to see uh, Mike Poison at the spring concert. How about you, Julissa? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I just better grab my tickets before they run out. Yeah, same here. Well, that does it for this edition of DTN3. I'm Julissa Rivera. And I'm Jared Lucero. Have a great weekend, Titans.